welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed our last video. Those little chicks are growing so fast and we're really having fun watching them grow, uh, get their own personalities. In today's video, we're gonna be working on their run. And now remember, in this channel, I try to use as much old material, uh, material I have laying around to build my next project. So in this, this video, we're gonna be using some old fence, wooden fence posts. Uh, some old piping from an old chain link fence that we took down and we're also going to be using the skeleton of this guy's older brother so put everything down come join me and i hope it works for you the arches you see in the front and the far back are the remains of an old trampoline For the chicken wire or poultry netting, we went with this uh, 20 gauge galvanized netting. All right, y'all, at this point, we have three rows of the chicken wire. We've got the outside rows and then the middle row. And then from there, we'll be tying it all down together and then weaving the overlapping sections. That way there's no openings for any critters to get into. After laying the chicken wire on top of the frame, we went through and tied everything down, kind of stretched it, uh, got it tight, and uh, tied it all down with using 18 gauge uh, steel wire. And then just went through uh, periodically and went through uh, different areas and tied it down, pulled it, stretched it, and uh, that way it wouldn't sag, the chicken wire wouldn't sag. And it just tied it down. From this point now, I just need to close the feet two ends and of course this is going to have room for a door so that we can get in and out.
Okay, everyone, here's the final product. You can see the door. I ended up making the door itself 52 inches high and 37 inches wide, and then framed around it. Uh, I'll open it for you so you can see the, what it looks like as far as the frame. So I framed it out this way with uh, the fence posts on the side and a piece of two by four on the top. That way we're able to put the chicken wire on the top because we're able to staple that in. And then it gave uh, more support to the frame itself. I put this latch here so we can lock it in, nothing can get in and out. And I kind of uh, made my own little door handle, you can see. And then on the seams everywhere, uh, chicken wire meets or overlaps one another. I, uh, I'm i gonna kind of sew in, mend it together so it can uh, just fit as one. So here it is. You can see how the rebar supports the center, supports the middle of it. And at the bottom, we allowed the chicken wire to come out about a foot, a foot and a half past the, the bottom. Let's see if we can find this spot. You can see it sticking out right there. And then we used those wooden fence posts to uh, lay on top of it. And then I was able to staple the chicken wire onto it, kind of tighten it down that way. And then I used, of course, the uh, steel staples to finish it off, to keep it tight. You can see on this side, that's okay. And uh, we're just trying to keep the critters out and keep our little chicks in. Uh, so hopefully that'll work. And uh, underneath the fence post, uh, we dig a little trench and then fit the fence post into those. So on the back end is where I'm gonna be doing the extension uh, chicken coop, which I'm gonna connect to the one that's inside. Uh, well, that'll be my next video. Uh, look forward to that one. And I think we're pretty much done on this one. And I'm glad you guys joined me on this little journey here and hopefully I'll get back to you and see how these little guys are are growing. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our video. It was fun making that uh, chicken run and I hope you guys got something from it as much as we did. For my next project, I'm thinking on working on my brother-in-law's project and I'm thinking about make, turning it into a flower bed. What do you think? But I can't do that. What do you mean he's still going to work on it? <laughs>